Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode here in Horizon Forbidden West. In the last episode, poor old Zoe ended up getting her entire world shaken and flipped upside down. We took her into the cauldron where we ended up having to fight her land god and kill that big son of a gun. That was a, that was a headache. And from there, we're able to complete the cauldron. And then where we get the real bombshell dropped is we were able to go find Minerva and start to piece together Gaia again. So that's what we're picking up today. We're about to go into the lab while we wait for Gaia to wake up. So I hope you guys are excited for this. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, maybe get some answers today. What are we going to find out? I honestly have no idea. I can't believe the What's Gaia this? This was intended is awake. This gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to... So this I'll was supposed to be... Well, you can tell she is incredibly overwhelmed right now. Lab. Understandably. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair... What is that? Lewis ...appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. Okay. I'll take a look. Is this like another little mini game? Fabrication terminal. Plowhorn override. Whoa. Override available. Override unlocked. Interesting that they're doing it this way. They're making it a little bit more grindy. Where we need to get plowhorn horns and a plowhorn primary nerve. So we'll need to remember that so that we can collect those and then come back here, I guess, would be my guess. Let's go back to Gaia. This is what we really are all here for. I did not expect that uh, fabrication terminal to be a thing. I mean, maybe it's for some of the more prestigious um, uh, creatures and machines that, that we want to be able to override. So maybe, like, I assume if we do get aerial mounts, that will probably be one that we have to go and unlock. So they just want you to, to earn it a little bit more. Hello, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. Let's go! You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. The str yeah, the strangers. I mean, we do need to know about the subordinate functions, but the strangers. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Yeah. Do you know who they are? Creepy. The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. <clears throat> the signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. What? Do you think it was those whack jobs that the made it... calculations are complicated. Made it out to another to planet? originated 81 trillion kilometers away. Oh. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so... What's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? So that means that signal could have been sent forever ago and it took that long for it to get here. Oh, this, there's the layers to this. Star system. Serious. But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yep. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless it didn't. Unless. Uh, I don't. Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. Third Horizon game in they space. They want future humans to think that 
They were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? They were part of them. saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Whoa. Yes, that is my conclusion. Okay, so that means clearly that their technology has advanced to an incredible level, which makes sense because they've had hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of years to advance that technology. And if you think about it, they are much more advanced than we are because we were set back mightily because we didn't have any of the information from the old ages or from the old ones, as the game says. Oh, man. This game story and, and plot is so good. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. That's what we were hoping. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. You imagine how many 3090s have to be in this thing to power it? Just saying. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Eleuthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. Oh, shit. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. Okay. The rule of three, baby. Looks like water air and land and Hephaestus it too stands revealed but it is not like the others <laughs> that's for sure in the years since the extinction signal Hephaestus has evolved moreover it is not confined to a single location it haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet Just... making it exceptionally difficult to subdue let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. Okay. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. We gotta get the other three first, but Grab where do we start? Grab the other functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. Do we get a choice, or is it gonna so, lead us? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. Makes sense. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. Okay. So the cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited. So it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. Makes sense. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Just don't drop it. Okay. I mean, I got so many questions. Yeah, we're going to talk about all this. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic it's agents been running and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. AKA, it's gonna get a lot worse. 
if we don't do something. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Until we get Hephaestus. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. Which may not happen in this game. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Okay. They do such a good job of setting you up with goals, though. Like, how long do we have? How long do we have, then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. Shit! And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. AKA another oh, game. Every bit counts. So it seems like to me, that they're taking uh, a God of War-esque route where they, they are building this giant world that you know that you have to accomplish and get things with. And this world is pretty much going to be like how in God of War you had, um uh, uh, God, what was the thing? You know, you had the, the, the thing where you could travel to the different realms. But in the in the first game, you could only travel to, the, to three of them. Whereas I assume in Ragnarok, we're going to get to go to the next three. And so with this game, we're going to have subordinate functions. And we're only able to get three of them. And I assume in the next game, we're going to get the other ones. And then that will help us all with Hephaestus and then solve this. Which will which will put the bow on the trilogy of the game. Man, I love this. Oh, oh my God. We can talk about all of it. We can talk about all of this. The clone. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they, they had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. Yeah. How the hell? So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. Yep. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, Jesus. millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Yep. Elizabeth Sobek, a subordinate? I don't think so. And the thing is, is if they can make one, I assume they can probably make multiple. Just saying. Uh, so what exactly is their plan, their technology... Is also very intriguing. And how did you track the signal? How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. <sighs> that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Yeah. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database simply, for any relevant simply. location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far zenith's intended destination, That's what makes sense. was the only logical source. Damn, guy, are you smart? You real smart. All right, let's talk about the technology, and then we'll go back to the other stuff. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship... This is all so intriguing. I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. 
As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Because if they're on a new planet, who in the hell knows what the fuck they found, right? And with hundreds of years to master that technology, oh boy. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. But on our planet? Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. Could you imagine taking a trip that takes almost an entire decade to get to your destination? Woo! The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? So much information right now. Wilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Poseidon's water. Apollo was tasked with preserving. Oh, these are the missing ones. Excuse me. Vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066. By order of Ted Farrow. We saw that in the first game. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Yeah, he's an asshole. Understandable. <laughs> he appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, <laughs> impulsive, and unstable. <laughs> oh, All three of God. the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? Yes. If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. That's going to be the whole next game. Just saying. All right, about Hephaestus. You said you need Hephaestus to save life Hephaestus. from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines. That makes to sense. Completely reverse environment. It's basically what Hades has done to Hephaestus now, just for good. Because that's what Hades did was take over Hephaestus and make these evil machines that are now causing harm on the world that we're living in. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, oh, but without so Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. This is so cool and interesting. All right, the last thing, then we're gone. Functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Earth, is air, and water. Detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water Ooh. resources. Look at that thing. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends that to thing plant too. life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... Irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Oh. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Okay. Okay, let's get started. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. One's going to be up high, one's going to be under the water, and one's going to be on land. Might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. Mm. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus. 
but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. <laughs> well, that's a nice way to put it. <laughs> what about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data mm. indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas. Oh, Las was Vegas! A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Ooh, the coast. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? We have to choose? Oh, shit! Oh, so they're all level locked, too. Oh, this is so cool, though, that they're giving you this choice. Well, we have to go, we have to go A through level 17. But I'm going to need to grind out some levels before we do that, which is going to be perfect. Because after this episode that I'm recording... We are going to be doing a side quest stream, so... I think I'll head for Ether. We got to. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. That is so cool! If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. God. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. We are getting that Should point. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I love this right now. I just sat here and talked to oh, oh, an AI I... god for like 30 minutes and I'm okay with it. Oh, the thing from the farm. Is something wrong? The thing from the farm. Um, I don't know. It's just that Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Yeah. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Only you can. Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. Uh -huh. In you, all things are possible. Uh -huh. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Damn. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? That's cool too, uh, though. Yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. God, dude, this game is just so good in so many different facets. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. Yeah, and they're gonna go off and they're gonna have but little kids and they're gonna be adorable and Check shit. Plain song's doing yes. after the attack. I think it'll be or I could way. also look around here some more. We've already explored the base plenty, okay? And we talked to Gaia for a to. good amount of time. After you, Aloy. You know you two are about to go start a life somewhere and I'm very happy for you, but I it's gonna get lonely out there. It was kind of nice having you guys have the machines get aggroed on and I could just shoot them in the back, you know? Dude. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. Phenomenal. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like training. Actually, I'm going to go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. True. It'll be okay. 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 
Take these then. I didn't expect that, but that's nice. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? Yes. No. After what happened in the cave below. What the? I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Oh, I bet you will. Looking Shit. Looking forward to it. That was when a... you be back? That was a naughty I'm, reference. Uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. See, that is how you introduce a character and make me attach them. I like Zoe. A lot. A lot. Somewhere Completed interlude. Eye of the Earth. And who knows we have so many skill points to spend, too. I love that. We're getting skill points all the time. New main quest. The Sea of the Saints. Which we need to go where? We need to go 1,700 feet away. Override. Can I ride? Oh, I can mount the bristle back. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. look at this big honker, man. Look at the ass on this thing. God damn. <laughs> Boy is thick. We're not really going to be moving very fast. But we are going to be a force to be reckoned with. There's a tall neck, which means we got to go through it. How exactly we're going to get up there, I don't know. But what I do know is I got a big old honker to come help me in battle. Come on, little bristly boy. Watch this. Boom. Gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. All right. Let's go take out all the enemies around here, bristly boy. And I don't know exactly how. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hang on. We got sawtooth or ravager. Excuse me. Oh shit, don't see me. Don't see me. I would like to get a silent strike on one of these just because I know how much health they have. It can be really annoying. So if you just want to lead right to me, that's, you know, oh my god, that did nothing to you. Oh boy. I want to get that cannon off of him ASAP. Because that's a problem. God bless. Now, I want to try something I normally don't do. And now I want to pick this up. And see if it makes a difference. I have to hit LT to aim it. Come here, ugly. You're running away now that you ain't got your cannon? Yeah. Yeah, you don't like it, huh? Oh damn, that's it? I mean, it's almost dead, though. Oh, now you're really dead. Now you're really dead. Bang! Yeah! Oh, boy. A little burrower. Oh, boy. Ow, that hurts. Bristleback, come help me fight these people, man. All right, got to watch out for that attack. Got to watch out for that attack. Bristleback, go get their ass. I don't know how I hit that, but I hit it. Are you down for the count, dude? One hit? Oh, shit. There we go. Can I revive you? Bristleback, I choose you! Dun, 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 dun. Where's your little ass at, huh? Not so little ass, I should say. I know you're not running away from me. I know you're not. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. 
Ja. 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 That's okay. Okay, so that might be the way to do it. Take out their gun and then immediately use it against them to just do insane amounts of damage. Now, I don't know what exactly this spike stalk thing does. I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of it. I don't know if we can start to make different kind of arrows from that. I I don't I don't know. That would make sense with the abundancy that it doesn't that look like there's any way to climb this tall neck. There is. So how do we? What do you mean? Then what do we do? Ooh -wee. Are we about to get into the jungle? I think we are. We're getting close to Uther's location. Yes, we are. Oh, we are. We are. We're getting back in the denseness. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Okay, here we are. Unknown settlement. Looks like where we need to go too. Yeah, are these the, are these the friendly Tanakh? I think so. Blue and yellow. As long as they're not green and red, I think we're gonna be a okay. Those are the ones that we really need to worry about. All right, scan this. Bam. Hello. She struck a blow to us at the embassy. Regala's forces may seem strong now. Oh, I like her but hair. The machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Yeah, I love her hair. Blood of the Ten. She looked like a bird, but it looks cool. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Lai. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. Lowland. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the chief will provide. Come. Okay. So our prior deeds are paying off for us. You were talking about? Yes. The records of the ten. I can show you them if you like. On the way to the chief. Um, visions. Yeah. What are the visions? These visions. You said they're the records of the ten. Who are they? Old ones who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. Okay. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Okay. A lot of dialogue today, so I, I apologize for that if that's not your thing. I enjoy it because we're getting a ton of backstory. All right. A ton. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the Ten. All right. The Memorial Grove. Watch the visions. Option. Well, we'll see what this first one is and see if it's worth it, I guess. It's glitched. Incomplete. Joint Force 10 at Led by weapons were Okay. Okay. Damn. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Just everywhere you go. It is just a marvel to look the at. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? 
Yeah, I'm ready to see the chief. Let's get on with it. Good. Come. She's very calm for how badass she looks. I just want to point that out. So what in the world is this? Uh... It's underneath the throne. Oh boy. Well, that's gonna be trouble. I didn't I even realize. Did, did he lose his arm in the battle? The or... savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta. In single combat. Damn right. We did. Impressive. Thank you. I met Fashav there too. He said you were a great warrior and a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. Of course. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Uh, excuse me? Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I mean, that's fair, I, I guess. No price. I am not a hired killer. No, let's go kill. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. No, let's go kill a little I bit. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too. If you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you could try. Oh, damn, this guy. You might even succeed. He's got intense. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. Oh. What do you need? Could you imagine if we got I a need choice? need marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. Ah. I've sent out a call for the competition. See, what's cool is the fact that we had that conversation before with Farav, or however you pronounce his name. We know what the Cool Root is. It's pretty much like a gladiator-style combat ring. Whereas if we didn't have that conversation, because it was optional, we wouldn't really know about it. That's cool. Since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Okay, all right. Well, we don't really have much of a choice, but let's ask about the you chamber said below. You saw what's in the basement? I yeah. did. Let's pry On a little bit. On the day of my greatest victory, 
What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old ones spoke, mm. and what they said changed everything. What did the Old Ones say to you in this new vision? Yeah. The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace, until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne, you went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. Okay, we'll go north. We don't really have much of a choice. And like I said, unfortunately, this episode is just... Uh, well, not really unfortunately, but if you don't like it, a lot of this episode is just a lot of dialogue. But it's good because we're getting to know so much information. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. And I got a feeling the, the combat's about to pick up. About our deal. You will have what was promised if you succeed. Speak to Deca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Oh, really? Okay. What you got for me, Decca? You Mohawk having lady? Hiya! Hiya! See all this other cool stuff I got, Decca? What's she gonna give us? Come, let us speak. I mean, we've done a lot of speaking. Hikaru said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Okay. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. AK gets cold and high in elevation. We got a cleaving sharp shot bow. Oh, okay. I've been wondering how we're going to get better weapons. So I don't know if we get them through the story or if there's other stuff that we need to do. Sharp shot bows are powerful, highly accurate, long range weapons. I love these in the first one, but you have to use them in the right way. They have reduced accuracy when fired while moving and cannot be aimed while sliding. Uh, remember, shoot elemental arrows to detonate canisters of the same elemental type. Well, does this have any kind of elemental type to it? There's no way, right? It does have tear arrows, which is good. And we'll definitely want to upgrade this one, I feel like. Okay, loving it. We are improving. Tear precision arrows are now available for one of your sharp shot bows. These powerful arrows deal high tear damage with a compressed air blast. Use them to remove armor plates from tough opponents to detach useful components. So when we have big armored enemies, we can then shoot a tear arrow, tear arrow at them and it will more expose the weak points in a lot of these, uh, these enemies. It would have definitely helped in that enemy in the cauldron, in the boss in the cauldron. That would have helped big time. So we weren't hitting armor and we would hit I the weak spots either. every time. I'll have to play along with a caro. I better what you been doing, Bristleback? Stonecrest. I'll be faster if I ride a machine. Well, it's a good thing we got a big old honker right here. 
Okay, guys, I tell you what, I feel like, uh, I don't know exactly how long this episode is going to be. It might be a little bit shorter of an episode, but I feel like this is going to be a, a pretty good place for us to stop, a, a good stopping point. Uh, we we went to, to knock territory, and now we're going to have to go all the way, all the way up there. Holy hell. All the way up there uh, in order to uh, try to try to get on with our story and get to this damn this damn bunker and i assume every single area will introduce us to somebody new and we'll have to help them but the good thing that i like about this game is the variety and the people that you're meeting are so cool and they're all so interesting to me anyway so all right stay awesome stay yourself and i will uh i'll see you guys in the next one when we go uh, and head to that tribe peace out youtube